So here we have the My Way, the 112 foot San Lorenzo. She looks in very good condition so far. So let's go aboard and check her out. So on the starboard side, you're coming into the crew entrance area. There's a dumb waiter. The servers under the dog house here. It's all the electrical components for audio visual storage wine cooler and then we come into the galley all flat lacquered finishes there's the refrigerator freezer decent sized galley stairs coming down from the galley Emergency escape hatch, another refrigerator, it's the crew mess, small oven, television, compact but everything's down here, captain's cabin, washers and dryers, four melee, then you have two bunks, two bunks and a single bunk. So you can run this boat with up to six. He says you can operate it quite comfortably with four, depending on the number of guests and the level of service. I'm under the sole floor of the crew quarters. They've got an additional two refrigerators in here. One, two, a lot of dry storage. This is the water heater tanks and forwards as well as you can see these are quite deep so you've got a lot of storage in here so there's two entrances up into the pilot house this one is the crew one which goes straight down into the crew quarters and you come up into this bridge area You've got a nav station, everything is in brown leather, all state-of-the-art electronics. Then you've got this small observation or little breakfast area. And then you've got these glass doors for privacy. And this is a blackout shade which comes down so it separates the owners and the guests. And then this way we go back down to the entrance foyer on the starboard side. So let's go into the main Sky Lounge now. It's a nice picture there. It looks familiar. Flat raised panel ceilings. Just a day head. Freestanding sofa. Which, which <laughs> that's quite unique on both sides, the footrest. We have a small table in the center, storage for flatware, and here's the serving pantry with a small pocket door, the dumb waiter. This woodwork is very nice. Let's go out to the Sky Lounge deck. So coming out onto the Sky Lounge deck, you have this large round table under the overhang. You have a sunshade over this loose furniture, which has just been replaced apparently. This is nice, this glass, so there's no stainless railing. So you've got a clear visible view of the transom. Here, I'm assuming, there's a refrigerator, storage, and an ice maker, fire pump. Let's go up to the sun deck. Walking up this nice stairway, we 
we get to the sun deck. Because it's a European boat, they're not going to have much shade up on this deck, but you've got these four lounge chairs back here. That looks like it's a shower. And then we have the barbecue grill on the port side. And then on the starboard side, you've got a sink. That's the, I don't know what that is. There must be a dumb waiter up here somewhere, I think, possibly. That's a refrigerator. And then under here, that's the jacuzzi hot tub. Small helm area for navigation. And you've got this nice seating area forwards. This is nice, this hard top. Protects this area from sun. And then you've got seating as well on this starboard side. So it's a decent sized hot tub. It's about six foot square. So we're exit from the Sky Lounge down into the foyer and into the main salon from the foyer. Quite a nice open foyer here. And this comes into the main salon. It's got matching hardwood floors with the cabinetry, formal dining, marble table. Then this is the balcony. So this opens completely up and you've got a balcony here. As we mentioned, it's a very unique feature. So it opens all the way up. Got a pop-up television. Refrigerator and ice maker and glass storage here. That's nice. Large, slightly concave door. Freestanding furniture. You may find it a little low. Apparently behind all of here is all storage for all of the flatware. I like these leather handles. It's a nice picture. I've seen this before. It's by actually a very famous artist. Flatware, glasses, stemware, sorry. Plate settings. This is a family boat only used by four family members and a mistress apparently. That's why they're selling it. Headroom is good. Let's go forwards into the master. Before we go into the master, that's the day head. So here, to the port side, we have a hanging locker, a his and a hers with some drawers. And then all down the sides here, it's an aircon unit. It's a safe, storage, drawers, more storage, actually this is your servers, they've got the Sky Direct TV here, small vanity area, nice sofa here, pop up television.
skylight above the bed. For a 112 foot master, it's not bad. Let's go through. These panels are a white, flat, lacquered finish. This is the head. And you've got the two sinks and then the shower. With the window, which obviously this comes down. Okay, so we'll go back down to the guest cabins and take a look. All of the San Lorenzo 112s are the same configuration. They just have different decor. That goes back up to the bridge and Sky Lounge. Let's go down to the guest cabins. So going down to the guest cabins, we've got underlit stairs, into the foyer, full size mirror, it's a king size, almost a king size bed. Then we have a shower and a head. I just told you in reverse, behind these pocket doors, which are in both of the VIP cabins. And then on this port side cabin, these two beds do come together and there's a Pullman. And then this has a regular door into the head and shower. This boat looks very, very clean. It's got a very crisp feel to it. Even though it's a satin finish, it feels very nice. And that's the openness without those doors being shut on the guest VIP starboard side. And now we have the same beds that pull together in the starboard side guest cabin. Decent size windows in all of these televisions in here. Everything is iPad touch control throughout the yacht. Okay, let's go and look at the aft deck and some technical spaces. We're walking to the fore deck now. But this is the aft deck. You've got this table, some seating, loose furniture, sideboarding. That's down to the engine room. We'll go forwards first. As you can see, this is 2018. She showed really well. I can't see any signs of blemishing, discoloration, delamination. They've got a non-varnish cap rail, which is nice because it needs no maintenance. Just lightly sanding periodically. When we come forwards to the fore deck, I don't know if you can see under there, that becomes a table. So right now it's in some pad mode, but that raises up either side and that makes that a dining table. And then this umbrella above us can go either over the chairs or over that area. That's actually quite a nice dining area. Capstans and walking drums. Let's go back and check out the engine room. We're going to go down into the engine room. As you can see, these stairs show no wear at all. They're still in there. White painted finish. We'll go into the engine room. Generator. MTU 1500 horsepower. As you can see, everything looks pretty much like new. Fuel transfer, wiring, battery chargers.
second generator. Water maker. Battery chargers. Waste treatment. And this is their isolation transformer. This will be replaced and this is where you would put the frequency converter, right there. Plenty of room to put it. Everything's nice, tidy, organized. We'll go into the garage and check that out next. Both shows like new. Moving out of the engine room. This is all the, well, let's have a look in here first. This is where there was a jet ski apparently. And that's a five meter tender, Castaldi diesel jet tender. And apparently you can put two small jet skis. They did have one big one in here before, but they've removed it. That's the transom door. And then we've got the control panel for the AC and the DC. There's backup pumps for the air con and the water maker. And the fresh water pumps, there's two of. They also have two inlets for the generators. So you clog a generator intake, you can just switch to another one and the air conditioning. You'll notice it's quite well wired. Even though they're exposed, these wires, sometimes you can put covers over everything, but everything seems to be very well wired. I saw there was a swim ladder that goes into this step here. That's a transom shower, teak transom. And it looks though they had something maybe on the transom here at one point because this is where chocks would have gone. So when this garage door opens up, maybe they had another jet ski back here. Maybe they had two big ones before. Okay, that concludes our inspection. Okay, so there is 1,300 hours on the main engines and there are 2,600 hours on both of the generators. Feel a good looking boat.